viewers, now is the hour of mathematics. So we have an exponential equation. If a to the power square root of x is equal to square root of 16 to the power of x, then what will be the value of x? A quick one, we dive in straight away. The given question is 8 raised to the power square root of x equal to square root of 16 raised to the power x. To start from the left hand side, I have 8, then raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2, that is 1 over 2 because of the square root sign. And from the right hand side, I can write it as 16 raised to the power x, then multiply by 1 all over 2 because of also the square root sign. Good. At this point, 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by x to the power of 4, 1 over 2, equal to 16. Also can be written as 2 raised to the power of 4, then multiplied by x multiplied by 1 over 2, which is 4x all over 2. Meaning that 2 can cancel out 4 to give me 2 raised to the power 3x raised to the power half equal to 2 raised to the power 2x. At this point in time, you can see that the bases are equal. And by laws of uh, uh, indices, you can argue that when the bases are equal, the power should be equated. And by that, we can now write that the bases be cancelled out and we have 3x raised to the power half is equal to 2x. At this point, I want to remove this half. And the only way I can do that is to, you know, power both sides of the equation. And that means I will write 3x raised to the power 1 all over 2 all to the power of 2 is equal to 2x also to the power of 2. Okay? Both sides of the equation now is squared. And what that means is that 3 is also is raised to the power 2 x raised to the power half also raised to the power 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by x raised to the power 2. From here I can get 9 then x, 9x because here 2 can cancel out 2. Leaving me with a 9 raised to 3 raised to the power 2 which is 9 then multiply by x. And by the right hand side I will have it 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 multiplied by x raised to the power 2. Next, that I will do now is to move what I have from the right hand side to the left hand side. To have it written as 9x minus 4x squared equal to 0. And you can see with me that x is common from the left hand side. So if I factor it out, I'll get 9 minus 4x all equal to 0. Also by product rule, you can agree with x here is equal to 0 as the first value of x and from the bracket I got 9 minus 4x equal to 0 meaning that 9 is equal to 4x and the x is equal to 9 all over 4 so the second value of x is 9 all over 4 Thank you dear friends but in just in a moment let us put the value of x equal to 9 over 4 into the original equation to see if it, it will satisfy the original question. Therefore, that is if it will satisfy the, the equation. So I have it, check result, check result. Remember, I got two results, and the two results I got are uh, 0 and the 9 over 4. But I want to test 9 over 4. So that becomes 8 raised to the power square root of x equal to the square root of 16 raised to the power x. Now, we replace the value of x as 9 over 4. Doing that, I will have 8, okay? Then, raised to the power square root of 9 over 4 is it equal to the square root of 16 raised to the power 9 over 4. Okay, we solve. From the left hand side, the square root of 9 over 4 is simply equal to 3 over 2. Therefore, I can write there that this is 8 raised to the power 3 over 2. With this give us to from the right hand side, from here I can write it as 16 
raised to the power 9 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 because of the presence of square root by the right hand side. This is now going to be 8 raised to the power 3 over 2. Will this give us uh, 16? From here, you can see it is written as 9 all over 8 because 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8. Okay. Now let me put 8 and 16 in base 2. And that means 8 is the same as 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 3 all over 2. And 16 is the same as 2 raised to the power 4 multiplied by 9 all over 8. From the right left hand side, I will have 2 raised to the power 9 over 2. And from the right hand side, you can see, please, this is um, 9. This time this is 8. Please, this place is 9 over 8, 9 over 8. I beg your pardon. We got here 16 raised to the power 9 over 8. Therefore, 16 now is written as 2 raised to the power 4. Then multiply by 9 all over 8. Therefore, 4 here is 1, 4 into 8 is 2. Leaving me this side to 9, 2 raised to the power 9 all over 2. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Very correct. You can agree with me that the equation is satisfied. The right hand side is equal to the left hand side. So the values of x are 9 over 4 and 0. You can also test 0 on your own. Thank you for watching to the end. Remember to subscribe to my channel to talk to Sokori. Bye.